Thursday is 17k. How? How? Help me explain. Help me. Do not move the flight. I upgrade. Up I said I'm looking for money. I will not be upgrading flight. From one. From, I don't understand. Like, economy is my thing. So I thought that. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ifsogu, and if this is your first time of watching any of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I'm a Lagos based YouTuber, I make videos about lifestyle, travel, and freelancing. So these are the kind of content that you'd like to see. Let me just relax. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I know I've not been here in a long time. To be honest, I've just really been. I don't know. I don't know the S. I don't know the right excuse for this, but I don't know, and I'm not going to promise you that I'll be here more often. I just need to take care of myself first of all before I get inspired to make um, content. You guys understand. So in today's video, I'm just going to give you guys my experience um with um disney flies green africa so in case you are interested in traveling this is my own side of the story this is what i went through i'm just going to give you guys like a breakdown of what transpired between green africa and myself and uh, my experience basically flying with green africa for the first time so if you've not subscribed by now i don't know when i offended you i don't know I don't know how I offended you, so please help me subscribe to my Okay, so I boarded um Green Africa. I boarded the Green Africa flight. Uh, my friend's wedding was in October, and if you know me well, you know that when I'm flying, I actually book like two months beforehand. I don't usually like taking um buses, like I don't like traveling with buses. Um, except it's a private car because I usually have motion sickness. So once I'm in a moving vehicle for like two hours, they have AC, the windows are shut, I'll feel like throwing a uh, shot. It's, I'll feel like throwing up. Do you understand? So um, I knew that I had a couple of weddings to attend this year. My friends were like, this is the year that they were all getting married, okay? And then I had to be there. The first wedding was in Lagos, thankfully, Hope's wedding. The second wedding was Loveline's wedding. And for that, I booked FP. So it was my first time flying with FP. Normal airlines that I fly is um, Dana and Aero Contractor. So that was my first time flying FP. I have like a whole video of my experience on FP. Um, here and in the description box i'm going to leave it there for you so the next wedding was in october and there's something major that i'm working on which i hope i'll be able to tell you guys around about that really soon so all my money was going into funding that particular project so when i heard that there was a flight called green africa it's cheaper you know and it will still take me to my destination i was like let's let's do this okay let us do this so i booked the green africa airline i think one month or two months before my flight um i paid they said it was really 16k but i paid 19k for um, going and i booked a round trip as usual so i paid 19k for um, going and um it was 16k coming so everything was around i think everything was around 31,000 or something like that so my um my flight is going back to the east you know my, my mom lives in umwa here so there's no um airport in oria the wedding was in abba abia states so the nearest and closest airport was the Oria airport so i uh, my flight for you know traveling back to the east was on the was on the um i'm very hard with math okay let's do that september april june and november <laughs> sorry my flight was um on on the 29th of of october so um it was from lagos to Uyuri. everything went well it was a good flight um they said I, my hand luggage was around um 8.5 kg they said it's the limit is 7.7 7 kg so i had to give the guy that was checking me in a five hundred no one i think i gave him i had to give the guy that was checking me in one thousand there, so he allowed me to go with my 8.5 um, hand luggage. So I got to Uyere and all of that. You understand? I got to Uyere. Then um, I was supposed to come back to Lagos in um, 
in November because I had to after the wedding I had to like stay a little bit um, with my mom my family and my siblings and all of that um, so the flight the uh, return flight to Lagos was on a Monday but then when I was booking I actually forgot about both sit at home thing I'm not living I don't live in the east so I don't really like it's not registered in my brain do you understand so i booked for monday but then when i found out that oh this flight um they don't go on like uh, monday is sit at home i was like let's just move it to thursday i, I tried to move this flight to thursday on the website or work it did not it did not work so i i tried to move it on the website i, I thought i moved it successfully i paid i, I paid six thousand naira. they debited me i don't love that then i got an, an email from them that they upgrade 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 what please upgrade who that i i paid to upgrade my flight up up what excuse me what to pay to, 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 uh, <laughs> i was like i don't understand I started looking for um i started looking for their customer service number which is not readily available um but somehow i was able to find an email so i emailed them i um, told them about my issue they're like, oh, somebody will call me now. I should drop my number. I dropped my number. I was in the bank that day trying to upgrade one of my accounts. Um, I got a call from the customer service rep telling me that I upgrade. I did not move the flight. I upgrade. I said I'm looking for money. I will not be upgrading flights from one. From, I don't understand. Like, economy is my thing. So I don't understand day. So they were like, oh, I, I paid to upgrade the flight, blah, 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 blah. If I want to move it, I have to pay an extra 11k. Like, how about me? Like, I was like, excuse me, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't follow, I don't get, I don't understand it at all. I'm not getting it. So they tried to explain to me that I paid to upgrade the flight, blah, 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 blah. There's nothing they can do. I'm like, upgrade the flight, I don't even, I don't get, I don't understand it at all. Why would I upgrade the flight? So I had to pay an extra 11k. This is, after paying 16k, I was paying six thousand naira um, to move the flights, which they said I, I now that it was for upgrading. Like my eyes, I cannot see anymore. I don't know what I was doing. Then I said I have to pay an extra eleven k for them to help me move the flights. I didn't have any other choice. I had to pay. So seventeen k. I said the return flight for um, from Lagos to uh, from Ore to Lagos was sixteen k, and the um, from Ore to Lagos was nineteen k. So sixteen k plus seventeen k. How much is that? So that is that is how much again 30 my math is very bad 33k yeah that's 33,000 naira that i paid i paid an extra 17k to move a flight and then africa they didn't refund me so i it's a no for me do you understand it's a no because if i booked any of the normal airlines that the other airlines that i'm used to maybe dana or maybe arrow or maybe any other airline that i'm actually used to or any other like airline that i'm not using to save cost and all of that i will not have this kind of problem who moves a flight and pay 17k who moves a flight and pay 17k a local flight and pay 17k to move the flight do you understand so it's just i was just so pissed there so it's a no and and that's not all though um it's not like the flight is bad anyway you can actually like take a look at the flight it's clean it's nice it's small though but it takes you to your destination but the whole money and the customer service um the like a attitude of the customer service um, reps and the inability or the unwillingness to help me recover my money knowing fully well that i i made a mistake i didn't actually pay to upgrade anything and you know the worst part okay they said i paid to upgrade the flight the, the flight that I, I, I when I when I finally moved the flight, there was no upgrade. There was no upgrade. So you just took my money for nothing. There was no upgrade. My first time of flying with Green Africa, and my last time. It's the last. It's the last time. And um, that's not all. Though. Um, we also had turbulence. I I think the, the pilots really tried because me, I was really scared. Though. I was like, I don't hug my mother properly. And all of that so um yeah ugh. there was turbulence it was really heavy in lagos so we had to hang in the air for like an hour or so i was scared people were actually praying i was really really scared i've never experienced i've never experienced turbulence before and i used to fly a lot like a lot a lot a lot so i've never experienced turbulence before that was my first time so i was really scared i was i was like god i don't want to die like this i don't want to, this is not how my life will end 
anyway i just decided to come and like tell you guys like the story of like my experience with green africa airline um airlines and everything i had to go through with them so now let's actually watch the video the travel vlog let's do the travel vlog now okay channel don't forget to like my video share and um subscribe to my youtube channel it does not cost you anything subscribing is actually free it doesn't cost you anything so please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel to like on your way again next time i don't know when it will be i know i have a video um, of the a vlog for the um after party of the wedding that i actually attended but I have not found time to, time to edit since yeah because I'm like I'm extremely busy and like I said I'm working on something really major and when the time is right I will share that with you guys but for now fingers crossed this fingers crossed for now fingers this fingers crossed right for now fingers crossed bye guys <laughs>